Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the second channel. Inside of today's video, we've got some Masters gameplay. I don't even know what this is even more. We're going to be trying to find some underrated brawlers and trying to get some wins. So let's jump into it. Alright guys, jumping into the first game then. So I've had to re-record this first game because my recording just completely bugged up for the actual first game. So it feels weird me commentating this. I had to get the recording back on because you guys couldn't miss out on... A video on the second channel because you guys just love the rank gameplay so yeah in terms of underrated brawlers then so i've already gone one in my head maybe i can pull out this brawler again maybe let's see but save zone there's definitely some underrated brawlers we can go here i don't actually think there's too many good underrated brawlers right now i mean it's only a couple that really spring to mind every single time so yeah my teammates definitely need to pick Colette. If they can go collect. Yeah. And I'm going to go Byron. So I went Byron on the recording that messed up. And I popped off. But at the same time, we got counted by Fang and Carl. So in this game mode, I don't think there's going to be too much of that. Byron synergizes really well with Clet. Always has has done. If you guys remember when Clet, uh, when Byron first came out, sorry. There was like a really good uh, strategy going on in competitive. It was Byron and Clet on maps like Kaboom Canyon, Save Zone. It was just so hard for the opponents to deal with. So Charlie, I mean, not Charlie. Jesse's good into Charlie. Which would be pretty underrated. You know what's an underrated pick into it? Penny. Penny would be fire into this. But at the same time, Jesse's probably just better in high, especially with a hypercharge. So I'm going to go with... Do I really need to go malaise? I don't think I need to go malaise. So I'm going to go with shot in the arm as well. I like going the third. I don't even know what it's called. Booster shots when there's more tanks because it's really easy to hit a couple of shots onto tanks because they have a bigger hit bo hitbox. But against snipers, I think the heal gadget's a lot better. It just allows you to tank like an extra shot, essentially. And I'm going injection just in case like my teammates want to come into mid with me. These can get some good value. So I don't know why the Clet is running back. Like, bro, there's a Byron on your team. Run up the map. Just run up the map. Just run up the map. Run. Byron actually has insane healing as well. Like, people underestimate this healing a lot. So, we'll get the double heal off there. Maybe my Colette can try and do something here. I mean, I've given her all the heals, but it literally did nothing. Let's just try and get a shot onto Piper. Okay, we're just whiffing everything. And, of course, we're just getting tapped by everyone here. We haven't got any wall break to get rid of, like, Charlie in this position. We need to just tank that. How did that kill me? 3.6k. I swear I was full HP. But I'm blind. we we'll have to look at that in re-recording. Anyways. We got a super finally. So again, we... Oh, yes. That is beautiful. That's exactly what we needed, Nanny. Nanny just broke open that wall for us. Which is perfect. Let's still hasn't got a super. Which is great. I don't know how we're going to win the game. If our Colette, literally the best bullet in heist, cannot get a super... Please, guys, help me. I'm, I'm, I'm having to pocket heal this Clet. It's our only hope right now. Please, Clet. <laughs> please get super. It's been 1 minute 30. Just get one. Just get one, please. I'm going to have to stop healing her because she's just doing nothing right now. Okay. Jesse, get into a position where... Okay, she has got a super. I just didn't see it. You guys are probably screaming at me. But okay, Clet. Go, 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 go. Okay, this isn't good. Maybe don't waste your super now. Okay, just get the tap there. We're actually winning. I, might, I must be blind because we actually are winning in percentages. Which is good. I hear this pipe up. It's annoying. I was going to say let's pretend to use super. Might as well just use it now on the piper. Try and get a tap in. Beautiful. I'm going to heal up ourselves here. We've still got a bit of time. We're still winning. We can still get the pocket heals with Colette here. It's just a strategy every single time. We can get the kill. Get the super onto Charlie. She does use her gadget, but I think we're good here. We get the kill onto Piper. Doesn't really matter. The coon's going to miss. We've got to try and take care of the spiders, even though it's really hard for Byron to deal with. And we're going to tank as much damage as possible. We're actually going to win that round somehow. I felt like we just got wrecked the entire time. And all I was doing was healing. I don't like being that guy normally. You know, my ego hurts. You know when you're just constantly having to pocket heal someone? That is just terrible. It hurts. I feel like I should be the one that's getting those heal those heals, you know? 
Same time, we went in, so I can't complain too much. Right. Byron heals are crazy. Let's just talk about it for a second. I feel like people aren't appreciating just how much healing he does now. It's insane. The damage buff has definitely done him a lot. It's definitely caught up over time. So now is the perfect time to pop my gadget. Well, we got shot a few times. It's so hard to get a pinch with Charlie here with no wall break, unfortunately. Nice. Can we get the Charlie down? At least Kurt's got super this time around. Got to go for the shot there. Again, just consistently healing up Colette. We can get the pinch, though, I think. Nice. Beautiful Colette. Okay. Didn't even matter in the end. I'm just wasting ammo shooting it, by the way. I shouldn't really just free her sooner. Should definitely just conserve my ammo. Okay, there we go. Jesse actually stood still for me. Ah! 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 Uh, I don't know why I auto-aimed that last one. Colette, I'm sorry I failed you. I failed you, Glet. Ah, don't know what's happening. Please. Ah, that, that, that is some damn bad Byron gameplay. But Glet just needs to go up, okay? I'll just defend. Even though I'm Byron, I'll just defend. Go. Okay, we don't go. My teammate in a cocoon as well. Get out of there, Jesse. There's a lot of damage going down. Jesse, pinch, please. I'm just going to use super to kill him as fast as possible. Right, collect, go. Heals, go. Hypercharge super, go. Let's pop gadget for no reason. Beautiful. Right, time to pop gadget now. Right, the mist. Cocoon there from Charlie. Beautiful. Now we have a bit of space. Double tap in. Oh, bro, that gadget is so cheesy. Like, actually so cheesy. Right, I think we got the kill there. Now I'm going to splash his both. Oh, he's going to teleport into the corner, isn't he? That's why I like just tanking those supers instead sometimes, because if he uses the shield stop power, he doesn't actually kill you. Okay, that was a... What was that turret? Can we just talk about that turret for a second? Right, important taps onto Charlie here. She's weak. Now we need to get up the map. Jesse, go. I'll give you the heals. Collect, go. I'll heal you both. Go. Look at this. I'm, I'm a healing god. Go. No. We're going to lose this game, are we? Yeah. I mean, if Jesse hadn't wasted that turret on the nanny, I think we would have won in that scenario. We definitely would have won. But it's okay. Let's keep our cool. It's all right. It's okay. I'm just struggling to really make that big of an impact against nanny, against Piper. We just need to stop. We need, we need Jesse to get on this, Charlie. Like, we need Jesse pinches charlie more maybe i just gotta heal collect less okay that is a lot of damage that's it collect run up against them oh how is that piper shot hitting me this is not good we are not playing the best right now i can't trash talk my teammates because we're not really doing all too much oh, this charlie's just so annoying just how could a brawler be this annoying but it doesn't oh bro like, you think you kill her, and then she just puts herself into the cocoon every single time. Right, tr collect super. Go, 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 go. I'll spam you heals. Go, just like the good old days. Stay up. Why are you running back? You've got heals. Stay up. Go, pressure. Go. Run at Charlie. Go. Okay, that wasn't the best. Oh, yes. Give me that. Just to get over here. No, don't dodge my heals, bro. <clears throat> that awkward moment where you both kind of move at the same time. All right, good pop gadget here. Okay, that was very rude from there, Charlie. <laughs> All right, Jesse tore it on the safe. Love to see it. This pipe is wasting a lot of time. And just get the double snipe onto me, but it's all good. We've got 40% lead. That's going to dwindle down pretty quickly. Don't know why Claire isn't just shooting those spiders, but that's okay. It's fine by me. Don't panic. Panic. Time to panic. They're getting a lot of percentage back. Time to panic immediately. Go, go, go. Ugh. No. Get out of our corner. Please make it stop. There's one down. Right. We really need to fight back here. Colette, I believe in you. Get the pinch with me. Colette, I believe. Yes. There's the taps. Go. We need to go immediately. Go. Go, go, go. Push up. Colette, push up. Push up. Go. Eat it. Eat it. You may as well just eat that. Don't let him TP on you like that. 
Jesse, get over here. I swear to Jesse's been dodging my heels every single time. Oh no, not the Nanny Super. Go. Collect, just go. Collect! You're my only hope! Collect! But Jesse Turret. Okay, I did not see that hype charge Jesse Turret. Panic over. Here's me screaming, and I didn't see Jesse cook. But that was extremely close. That should not have been that close. In the end, my Jesse actually did a lot. Look at the healing, though. Like, can we just talk about the healing? That was insane. And we get the Electra, like, I'm hoping that's not ironic. But, yeah, that's going to be the first game. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, jumping into the second game, then. So, you missed a bit of the draft because my recording just glitched. But I've gone Penny. Penny, I don't know if it's underrated or not, but it's definitely underrated going into a Charlie. So, it's not really the best on double swoosh. We have got two mids right here. They definitely should have, like, doubled down with some type of aggression. You know, Janet is a good pick into Charlie as well. It's not, like, a big hard counter, but it's a good matchup. But Penny definitely is a big hard counter. There's two reasons as to why you want to go Penny into Charlie every single time. So typically, she's used on maps like Ring of Fire to counter Charlie. I don't know. Some people just let the opponents pick Charlie, even though she's really good, and then counter with some brothers like Penny, like I said. But counter because of the spiders, and you counter even if they go with the other gadget as well. The turret will just deal damage to her. So I just feel like it's really hard to get value out of your kit with Charlie overall. Uh, against the penny also you've got the gadget as well to tank a couple of shots from charlie there's just a lot going on so hopefully i can show you guys how to counter but at the same time like charlie's range is insane like, actually insanity i pop gadget down that's gonna save a couple of shots unfortunately there's no pinch so i can't really do much i don't know why this guy's just changing his matchup because he definitely Definitely has a better matchup versus Spike than a Penny. Definitely. So, yeah. I don't know what he's really doing. So, he will get a shot at. Just because I'm an angry random. Doesn't matter. Spike's top lane anyways. Oh, there we go. A couple of shots. A good gene pool right there. That is beautiful. What a gene pool. Masterclass going on. No, don't destroy my Penny turret. I just worked hard for that. I worked really hard for that. No, not the gems getting spilled everywhere. Please. Okay, there goes my Penny turret. The one I just worked so hard for. But that's okay. There's one shot onto Sandy. We get the pinch going. Uh, Charlie's definitely just going to run into this bush. Is she? Okay, no, she's all the way back here still. We need this pinch going. Okay, I'm going down. Nice. Sandy's going to go down as well. Gene with a pull again. Yo, this Gene is connecting many pulls right now. Should be able to kill Charlie here. Nice. And there you go. My teammates actually popped off. Penny didn't really do too much. I mean... I don't know why I forced a penny on double swoosh. But at this rate, I'm just so sick and tired of going so many meta brawlers because of ranks just a clown season right now. I've kind of just lost the plot. You guys probably just feel that. Every single time I get masters and then I reach 10k elo, my brain cells go out the window. I just, I don't really care too much. It just doesn't feel like a competitive mode. You probably think I'm a stuck record right now. That's just how it is. I still have fun though. I still have fun. It's just unserious. You get what I mean? It's not competitive. It's an unserious game mode. So I've just got to keep shouting it. Hopefully, this next update will fix this. Again, I don't know why Janet is like forcing this matchup over here because I'm absolutely terrible in Spike. The only reason I picked Benny was to counter this brawler here. We're going to pop our gadget to tank a few shots. And that, that, that's how he counts Charlie, right? Right there is how he counts Charlie. Again, I know it's a grassy map and Charlie can't scout the bushes that well, but neither can Penny. But you should be able to win that matchup pretty comfortably every time. So, you're actually putting Gene lane, which is kind of wild. Janet mid actually is underrated. But still, wild. Uh, I'm not going to be Sandy lane, am I? And why is it? Is Spike has a hatred for my Penny turret every single time. Just let Penny's turret breathe. Why? Why am I so targeted? I feel so victimized right now. Just target someone else, Spike. Please. Where's the Sandy at? Okay, beautiful. This, this Janet's playing well now. Okay. I never said Janet was bad. I was just wondering why they wanted to swap matchups so much when Penny just sucks. So I need to force my best matchup possible. Sandy's going to get full pressure here. We've just got to run back. So no point feeding the super too much. Right, beautiful. I just placed the Penny turret into Spike super. My Janet's going incredibly aggro here. And somehow survives that i don't know how i'm actually going to win this game it looks like okay maybe not with a play like that 
but it doesn't matter. We managed to steal the gems. I don't even know what is going on right now. This just summarizes ranked in a nutshell. Hopefully this gene can heal me up in time, but it doesn't really matter. He's going to pull Charlie uh, into them. That's going to be it. You know what? I showed you guys two underrated brothers who I generally believe are underrated. I think Byron's insanely underrated, even though I lost. I just think that was a bad draft. I feel like we kind of cooked with a draft here with Janet and Penny. I feel like they could have definitely picked a lot better brothers into a Penny. You know, G we had Gene and Penny. They didn't just run it down with us with like Ash or something like that. I'm very surprised. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know who you think is underrated in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.